On today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this really cool water ripple effect when you're hovering over an image on your website. We're gonna do it with Webflow. We're gonna do it really, really easily. Let's rock and roll. Hey everybody, what's up? So lately I've been seeing this kind of image distortion effect when you hover over stuff on website and it's really, really cool. And it always looks like, oh man, and you need kind of a customer developer to achieve this type of high-end image distortion effect. But honestly, I wanted to prove myself that I could achieve that really easily with Webflow. So I sat down and tried to um, achieve that. Honestly, I got confused, I got messed up and I actually spent it a lot of time to do that. But now that I've solved it, I can give it to you and show you how to use that so you'll be able to implement it within minutes. So besides showing you how I do this and giving you the, the project so you can clone and edit it, I wanna explain the thought process of how I try to achieve when I'm trying to do something with Webflow that I have no clue how to do, how do I work through to solving this? So let's get started. So first, the first thing that I usually do when I have something that I wanna accomplish, I Google search it because maybe somebody asked that before, maybe they know how to do this. In this case, I search Google for water ripple effect Webflow and I got to this uh, Webflow forum where sometimes you find a lot of answers and there was this answer with uh, from Ezra who mentioned this kind of a GitHub library where this effect can be achieved but this always looks you know too complicated for me you know I'm not a developer I don't know what that means uh, but he actually created here a little bit of code pen and code pen is really awesome you can see um, yeah, you can see this effect here and it basically looks pretty simple. You just load up a JavaScript and copy all, only this and basically change the image. So I try to do this and I failed. I won't bore you with all the little details, but turns out that when the images are hosted on Webflow, you can't, the code can't manipulate the effect somehow. So let me show you how I've structured this and it's really, really easy for you to do as well. So this is my project within Webflow. And what we have here is basically a hero. Within it, there is the titles that we have here, H1 and the subtext. And the image, instead of being a background image of the hero section, it's actually an HTML embed. And let me open that up so you can see. Basically, it's just it's just a div that we have here that is called, that has the ID of Ripple. And it's basically set up to be position absolute and just fill up the whole space. Now, the reason that we're using this custom code just to do a simple div with a background image is so that I will be able to change the URL of the image from the default, you know, if I choose an image that's hosted on Webflow, or if I would want to, you know, give a background to the hero, I would go here to the background, I would only be able to select images that are currently hosted with Webflow. And I don't want to do that. Again, as I said, you have to host the images somewhere else so that the JavaScript will be able to manipulate the code. So what I did is very simply, I Googled free image upload and I got to this website image BB, uploaded the image and got it here. Now it's hosted. And what I did is copy link address. So now I have a new address that is not hosted on Webflow, this IBB, and that's actually the image. So when I use the uh, embed here, I was able, let's go to the open code and paste that URL right here. Okay, so basically what we have here is we have a div that takes up the whole space because it's, you know, it's position absolute, um, you know, filling up the whole space of the hero section. And I'm just putting in a custom, you know, background image. Now I did have to, to put these, uh, titles above this element, I had to make sure that they are relative here. So they would go, come up on top of the HTML embed. Now that I do that, the only thing left to do is actually add the custom code, which you can go here and to the custom code in this page. And in the body tag, what we have here is this. 
basically this line loads the script and this is the script that Ezra mentioned and the script that we show on GitHub. And this is the, the lines that turn on this effect. So basically it's looking for the element that is called ripple. And as you saw, that's the div that I added. And it's turning up, those are the kind of parameters of the effect, like how fast you want it to go, how big the radius, and, and basically that's it. So all, the only thing that you have to make sure is this, this name, ripple, correlates to what we have here. If we open this custom code, it has to correlate to this div ID ripple. Once they correlate and you publish this, obviously you can't see this work within the Webflow editor, but it will look kind of like this. And this is really, really simple. So what I did for you is I've turned this web, um, this project into a clonable project so that you can um, go here and just clone the project. Um, yeah, that's my project, so I can not clone it. But basically, you can clone it. The only thing you'll have to do is host the image that you want to put somewhere. You can use this BB, IBB, image BB um, that I used. It's free. Just change the text here, change the URL for the background image, change the, in the custom code. Actually, you don't have to change anything in the custom code. Just copy and paste this or use this project and you'll be set to go probably within minutes. So I hope that what I showed you here is that basically by doing a little bit of research, right? Searching in Google, did somebody else had this problem? Did somebody else had th this issue? Did somebody else solve this? You can usually find what you're looking for. Sometimes you'll have to play with it um, like I had because I didn't understand why the image doesn't work, why the effect doesn't work on the image. I had to go to the GitHub, read a little bit in the issues to understand that if they're not hosted on the same server or something like that, I understood that it had to do something with the image hosting, but it took a little bit of playing around with. Um, so you can do that. You can play around, dig deep, and probably achieve whatever effect that you want. Hopefully this was useful for you and you're gonna create awesome websites using this effect or implement kind of the strategy that I showed you with any other effect that you want. Let me know what you thought about this in the comments and I will see you in the next video.